Hey everyone, welcome to this video on how to generate that images using AI from our thoughts. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe my channel and uh, here we go. Here we go. Uh, we need to go to the Google and uh, in that I can type Leonardo. Leonardo.ai So in that website, uh, you can just go to this website and uh, So in that website, uh, you can uh, easy to generate that yeah images uh, from your uh, prompt actually. So you can create your yeah, multiple things uh, like game assets or portrait image or if you have already uh, your image, so you can easy to uh, modify it based on the prompt actually. So I can choose that launch app and in that I can choose that I'm whitelisted because I'm already created the account for that. So you can create uh, from your Google account. So I just create that and uh, so after that after that uh, you can see that feature model so these are the models currently uh, in the Leonardo will support actually so every day uh, you can generate up to uh, 30 images you can generate from there because uh, every day they will give that 150 credits so you can generate uh, easily for free of cost and uh, we have a multiple models along with that uh, this uh, recent creation uh, of that images actually so if you need you can just go to it and uh, you can just take that image actually but in our case uh, we need to generate by our own so i can go to that image generation part and uh, so this is the image generation part uh, so in that uh, you can see that uh, how many number of images you want actually so i can choose each command i need four images uh, because four four different angles it will be give and image dimension and uh, guidance scale and uh, controlling it, tiling. So if you have already image, uh, then you can put it actually. And uh, so this is the thing. And uh, so in that part, I'm already generated yet. See Tony Stark as a Hulk, right? So in that, uh, that Hulk shoot, I will support from that. I just uh, generating the two image. And if you see that uh, there is a multiple uh, realistic images you can be able to generate. You can see that each of the face things will change based on that our common prompt actually. So let's see, uh, I can uh, type, so I can generate that my first image. Um, so here is the thing. So if you mention that masterpiece, uh, it will be taking uh, more uh, in depth, uh, the model will works actually. And a realistic, stunning, hyper realistic photograph, extremely detailed the photo of amazing, incredibly beautiful, cute, 22 years old girl bold and uh, open breast loose share and uh, so like that i can put and uh, i will add the all the prompt details in my description you can check it later and uh, once uh, i put it that uh, so these are the common prompts i need and uh, after that main thing uh, we need to add the negative prompt because sometime model will make a mistake so that mistake we need to avoid that so i can uh, add the negative prompt so these are the things i don't want in that image actually so see too many cloths and a close up one head i need two faces we need to avoid and the two bodies plastic like that bad eyes and uh, autonomy high so like that uh, we need to avoid that and after that uh, this is an important thing we need to generate that uh, we need to choose that model actually so in that uh, i can choose that uh, deliberate so select the custom model and uh, so in that uh, yeah, so I can choose that uh, deliberate uh, 1.1 model. So in that, uh, if you see that, see the powerful model created by that. So this is a platform model. So we have multiple models. So I can choose this uh, model. Okay, so after that, I can choose generate. So that four images I can generate. So each image uh, will be a one token. So four image. So you can generate 150 images up to that date. And uh, so it will take some time to generating that image uh, around 30 seconds it will be take. Yeah, you can see that uh, that gaming asset uh, related thing, uh, it will be generating that actually. So in that, uh, I can generating that stunning hyper realistic photograph with uh, without too many cloths. So this is the AI generated models actually. So this is not a real thing. So for educational purpose, uh, you can use that. And if you are a game developer or if you are a, web developer so you can just take that create that image and you can generate by your own actually so next thing we can go to the next part i can generate that another image 
let me remove that uh, this prompt details existing prompt details and i don't forget to subscribe my channel so i can type that prompt uh, that photo realistic portrait of stunning beautiful woman without makeup extremely detailed like hassel highs like that uh, i need to mention that nikka d8050 film stock photograph and a kodak expo uh, portra 400 camera lens and uh, aperture 1.6 lens so like that i can put and, uh, and i need to add the negative uh, thoughts actually so negative prompt so these are the things uh, we need to ignore that cartoon things to the sketch drawing and over shadow saturation so these are two faces these are the things i need to avoid that so before generating we need to choose the model based on that i can go to that select custom model and in that i can type dream shaper v5 see this is the thing i can go to that and uh, generate with this model so i can click that so after that uh, the next thing we can generate that i can start the generating now image is generating it will take some time yeah here's the thing so you can see that portrait image it looks so realistic this image i am using in the thumbnail also so you can just check it and i will add that uh, these are the portrait uh, so these are the prompt details i can add in the description so you can uh, generate from that you can modify uh, whatever you need in that prompt so you can modify and uh, you can use that based on that actually okay so then uh, the next part we can generate another image uh, so totally I, i will generate that uh, three images uh, because uh, uh, we have a limited time to for this video to video so i need to uh, cover it up quickly so the next thing i can type the prompt uh, so this is another image uh, portrait of beautiful female industrials 19s guess gangster like that so this is some new thing actually and uh, we need to type the uh, that same as a negative prompt because without negative prompt uh, that image will get mess up so i can uh, put that uh, negative prompt close up two heads two faces plastic so these are the things i need to avoid it and uh, we need to choose the model uh, so i can go to that and uh, select custom model because in that part we have a multiple models in that so based on the model it will be generating like that so i can choose rpg 4 4.0 so in that part uh, so this is the thing i can generate it and uh, with generate with this model like that so here is the thing uh, after once i choose this model i can start the generating yeah so now it's generating it will take some time before that between the time you can Uh, please subscribe my channel for that uh, for more videos like that actually because i will post that uh, more and more interesting uh, ai related things in that channel so you can subscribe my channel don't forget it yeah so here's the thing the 90s uh, related styles along with that uh, that uh, that dress codes and it looks like yeah, some uh, gangster looks actually so uh, in that you can uh, you can just modify that your prompt details and uh, based on that you will get that uh, results based on that actually so see i already generated the multiple things and uh, if you click that load more previous generation uh, and uh, you will see that multiple things and if you need the high quality image resolution things uh, you can choose that uh, from the settings actually and uh, it will support all kind of images and uh, because mid journey due to the over traffic we will get the result very much late actually and uh, it will be cost also so we can use uh, this leonardo.ai it will be very much helpful for the uh, to image generation things right so hope you guys you will like that video and keep subscribe my channel for more videos thanks for watching see you on the next video bye we hope you found this video informative and helpful if you did please hit the like button and consider to subscribe our channel for more videos like this in the future also don't forget to share this video with your friends and colleagues who might find it useful if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comment section below and we'll be happy to respond thank you for watching we'll see you on the next video